Hey guys, this is Let's Play Mindscape for episode 19 of Oblivion. You said Mindscape again. Sh I know it is Mindscape. It is? Yeah, I am. My YouTube is Mindscape. Oh, you have yeah. to say hello, guys. Hey guys, this is Let's Play Mindscape for an episode of Oblivion. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, well, it's episode 19, and we still have to sync all the music, uh, the, the, my voice to the thing. We're posting the next one right now, but this is actually the, the same chick that we were working on in 18, but we actually, I think get to kill her this time, which is very nice and dandy. So we start so we start off with the sneaky bow attack and get almost all of her health down. Uh, we kill the skeleton we kill the skeleton and the zombie. I get the skeleton down right there. Now it's just my scamp the zombie and me and my scamp the zombie and her. So now I try, try to sneak through this door and try to get a shot off on her. I hit my scamp again because my scamp is annoying. I try to get it. And I miss again. Fun stuff. It's mainly because my scamp was right there so I couldn't really aim. I try to get my sword out, but I actually have an iron hammer and I'm like, oh well. Really hammer? But then anyway, so. I start tearing this guy apart with my sword, and I think it loses its chance sometime around here. But anyway, so this is where she dies, and it yeah we we're so happy. And then so I looked in here, and all I all I took was her all of her potions, her scrolls, and I think her hood because I have a red hood. If you don't know, and I like the red hood, I take that. The steel arrow. I think about the steel mace. Mm, I don't know. I decide not to take it, and then I'm like, wait a minute. Oh wait, no, I don't think this is where I take the necromancer's hood. I don't know. At some point, I take the necromancer's hood. Oh yeah, the other chick. Okay, yeah, it's that. That's when. I notice there's a bed, and I'm like, yay, I'm asleep. So I see. I'll see you guys later, basically, and then yeah. It just skips through it like that, and then boom, look, I slept. 24 hours, so yeah, it's pretty cool like that. And so, ow. Oh, dude, come on. What, I like popping my neck. Dude, that was nasty. And, oh, good. I put, okay, this is where I do it, I think. I take off her necromancer's robe, I look it on, and I'm like, nah, it's a bail. It actually looked pretty cool, though, now that I think about it. So I might go back to this cave eventually and grab one of the robes, because they look pretty cool. I noticed the coffins on the side of the wall, and I'm like, okay, there's coffins on the wall, that's normal. <clears throat> so, I'm just walking around like this, like this. Oh, Tristan, you know, since we're, have to, we're gonna have to post this with the whole video and it's not saved yet, and the audio, it's gonna take a little bit longer. It's gonna take like five more minutes than it's supposed to. But whatever. <laughs> Um, so, I'm like, alright, let's do this. I'm ready, I'm all pumped from killing that chick. I'm gonna beat this chick down. I take the same tactic, get my steel bow out. I go ahead and use the key on the door, which is very surprising, but I'm glad for. I aim at the old lady right there. I get ready, I shoot, fire, stealth damage, not that much, but it still does, it still helps. Shoot it again, hit her again. Get my stamp. I'll wait for her to come through. Get another air on her. I've I got really I got hit my scamp again. I don't know why. I just keep hitting my scamp. I got her that time though. So I'm doing pretty good. She's almost dead and she just healed herself early too, so I still have all my health and everything. Look at that. And then boom, she's dead pretty quick. That was very surprising. And I finally finished the quest. I get the chick dead. And yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. And then now there's the the spellcasting mage, and she doesn't know know that I'm here yet, which is really weird. But I go ahead and try to get a stealthy hit on her again, but she sees me too quick. It's pretty bummer, but I mean whatever. I notice that I'm running low on arrows. I have 12 steel arrows now, so now I only have uh, 45 iron arrows. So I switched my iron arrows because they just do a little bit less damage, but I have more of them, and they're less valuable, I mean, they're, like, everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> I get, now I'm a novice at conjuring, I think, I think that's what it was. I try to take down her 
your zombie, I run back, try to take down your zombie. I say forget it because I don't want to get this chick dead because then I know she'll die. So I summon my scamp and run past him. And just this is this is where the scamp goes for the the my scamp goes for a zombie. She's almost dead. Oh man, I run out of mana, so I run down here really quick. He had a potion of sorcery. I and drink that. And then I kill her right there. This is where I take her hood, I think. Take all of her potions, of course. I take her two flares. Oh, I didn't even remember that I had those. Oops. I take her... Oh, wow. This is where I take her hood. And then I put it on. Like these. And it, does, it looks a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. So I noticed these. They're not. They, I don't get too much from them. But hey, you know, whatever. They're still cool. And I still don't have. I, I say, oh, I have the spell for this. I look down in here. I'm like, all right, cool. I see the easy one, and I'm like, up. Oh, skill level's too low. And I notice it says alteration level needs to be 25. So I look in my alteration thing. I believe my. You see, it says alteration level 25 right there. And I look, and it says alteration level is 15. Yep. And so that makes me kind of upset. But then I, all I have to do is just pick lock this, open this. I fail so many times with this. I, eventually, I just auto attempt, right? Oh, I uh, get it myself. Real surprising. Lesser soul gem. I don't really need them yet. Ow, my toe hurts. Find another chest. It's on average, and I'm like, you know what? Okay, auto attempt. Here we go. I get it on like maybe the one two like the fifth pick at uh lock pick which is pretty cool i don't take the novice mortar and port because i already have one so i now am leaving because i've gotten everything i need from here what about that zombie summon spell that scroll what does that do? it just some uh, this zombie summon scroll it just summons a zombie one for like 30 seconds Scrolls, um, all scrolls only work once. Yeah, I guess. They're cool though. But anyway, so now we finally get that the chick dead, which is very, very good. Mm -hmm. And then I look down here. There's the end. I start heading to it to turn in my quest. After those so many deaths, my armor being destroyed. Um, all that mana and health potions that I could have saved from that, my all the aggravation and rage out of that stupid quest from the stupid mages, I finally get to go turn to my quest, hoping and praying that it's a good reward. This is where I tell Tristan about how the stealing effect, the icons turn red and everything. Yep. Yeah, basically. And so I go in here, I get ready to go. And so there's the chick. Hello there. And Good to see you. I assume you've I dealt go with talk <laughs> <laughs> I realize I go, I go talk to her and I talk about to this. celebrate anyone's demise. But Raylan was evil through and through. You've done the right thing. I believe we had so a contract. So basically I just get her killed and everything and then I get my reward and I look up. Well, what can and I do? It's 70 in? gold. 70 gold for six deaths and two videos makes me really mad so i go ahead and start selling off some of my potions and crap but then i realize that i can haggle her so i'm like wait a minute i want since she didn't give me no money i want to get my money's worth out of this crap so i go ahead and haggle her a yeah a whole bunch go sit go ahead and sell this i haggle her some more I think I think I can go to. I think I can keep. I can go to 175. That's a fair deal. Yeah, she keeps going up, but I'm like, what? That question mark. A That's fair a ton. Price. So I just sell some of the poison, the potions I don't need, like the cure There's poison and everything. It's and I decide I'll get a bed so I can rest you? and get my health Black up and everything. And then I notice all these guys with their armor ahead. and swords, and then I realize. 
I wonder what would have happened if I would have talked to them when I first got the quest. I wonder if I could have, like, got them to come with me and help me or something. Because that's what I think it, it's the idea is because they're all there for or something. If that's true, I'm going to be really mad because I could have died in, like, way less. So I go ahead and go to bed. See you guys after I sleep. What you'll find. I've heard hey guys, same this same. is back the after Emperor we slept because we're right tired people and we love sleeping. I look down and they're all talking at once and I'm like, wow, and I leave because I get mad. But anyway, get on my trusty steed. I look in my inventory for something that I'm unaware of. Oh, I look at my map. That's what I was. Separated birth. This is the Reynold denies that he he has been to Jaden Hall every any time recently. So we start heading that way. We have a few unexpected stops along the way, though. I think two castles, maybe a castle and a cave. I think it was right. Yeah, it was like a castle and a, and a cave, like in the same place. Oh yeah, two caves and one and one cave inside of a castle. Just and, and just a cave, yeah. And if you look on down at the bottom of the screen, the little map indicator, you can see the little castle icon. That's where I go to. And then we go get that dirty wool. Yeah. <laughs> dirty wool. Dirty wool. Dirty wool. But anyway, I start climbing up the mountain with my super pro commando pro horse and find the fort. And I'm like, ooh, look a fort. Ooh, look a deer. Ooh, look a wall and then I walk in here I go ahead and get off of my horse let's go this way and I'm a ninja and find this chest because I am a pro and then so I go ahead and explore around this place to see if there's any goodies I go up all the the stairs and junk so I see if I can find anything and I'm using Audacity to record my voice in the background. I usually use Fraps to record in-game sound, my voice, and video. But I didn't, um, my mic was off. So it didn't hear me at all. So now, like I said in the last video, we have to s add them together and crap. But, I mean, whatever, it's okay. I was gonna do this originally. And when Fraps was giving me a bunch of trouble, but now I decided that I'm not going to do it because I got Fraps to finally work because I'm not using a USB headset anymore. And if anyone's wondering why Fraps won't record in game sound, voice, and video, well, if you have a USB mic, uh, unplug that, use your speakers, and use a non USB mic to talk, and it will record all three of them at once, and you will have a perfect video. And this is this is just where I repair my armor and yeah it's pretty cool but anyway I don't know what just happened there I accidentally clicked out I need to zoom up ahead a little bit anyway I jump down here and um, it's a, I'm a little unsynced now oh crap not good anyway so I go in the cave I goes in the cave oh! and I have to turn up my volume and everything and I just accidentally unsynced it because I accidentally uh, looked the, looked out of the, the thing paused it yeah so my voice is probably gonna be um, ahead or behind this part and I'm really sorry for that I didn't even mean to I just clicked something and it screwed up but anyway see you guys later this is let's play Mindscape and hope you enjoyed this crap Anyway, see you guys later. Thanks.